Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're gonna analyze also the DXY because in the short term it looks like that Bitcoin could face here a possible correction potentially down towards the CME gap that we have currently at 17,000. But before we start with the content, my friends, a little reminder, we still have this special Bybit Christmas tournament going on this month. So if you're trading Bitcoin with leverage over on Femex, Studex and so on, maybe swap over to Bybit and trade here because here currently you can win the most money and prices during this month. So if you're anyway trading, then make sure to trade over on Bybit because this month you can do some very nice gains over here and also take advantage of these uh, nice prices. And if you still need an account or need some more details of this uh, Christmas trading event, then make sure to check out all the links down below here. Here you can find all my referral links to the recommended exchanges because with my invitation links, you can get some additional bonus so you can do some free trades with that money and if you don't want to trade at your own make sure to check out prime xpt because here you have this co-vesting feature this unique feature where you can copy trade all the traders you just have to top up a little bit of bitcoin over here and you can see if you're able to get some slots here into these top profitable traders here even with a small amount of bitcoin you can multiply your bitcoin very easily here if of course your trader is profitable and now my friends let's start with the content because here in the four hour you can see that we had here this rising wedge which right now looks like it could be breaking out to the downside we had an initial dump here towards eighteen thousand seven hundred dollar but as you can see we are seeing right now a little breather and this is now taking us straight towards the 20 moving average which is right here at nineteen thousand one hundred fifty dollars so if we're going to close this four hour candle below this price level, I'm pretty confident that we're going to see continuation to the downside and the target of this rising wedge is right here at the 200 moving average in the four hour right at $17,000. And this is also perfectly coinciding with our CME gap that we have here down at $17,000. So I think it is very likely that with this move, we could reach this price target, close this gap and from there on have a big bounce to the upside. But if we are not able to bounce immediately here at the 200 moving average at $17,000, I'm afraid that we could see continuation to the downside to potentially have a major correction even though of course bitcoin is still looking very bullish and also in the bigger time frames like over on the daily we have currently the hash ribbons giving out a buy signal we're going to have a look also into that later on but here in the four hour it looks like that bitcoin is about to have a little dump potentially towards this target here of seventeen thousand dollars at least there we're going to have to see if we are able to bounce or not because if we have a look here into the bollinger bands you can see that already now in the four hour we are touching here the bottom of 18,700. so if we would fall below this price level we're going to overshoot the bollinger band to the downside and therefore we have to see a big bounce at 17,000 immediately straight up into the bollinger bands otherwise we could be in a major bigger correction because we currently have also here mcd and kst shifted to the downside so this could also mean that we will potentially go lower than $17,000 if here we are not able to close four hour candles above the 200 moving average. So we're going to have to keep an eye on the four hour time frame very closely here in the next couple of days. Because if we go over into the DXY, you can see that we are still falling off the cliffs here. The DXY is still very weak, but as you can see, we are coming very close to our bottom here of $90 in this falling wedge that we are in here since many days already. We had an initial breakout to the upside, but we immediately got rejected. And right now we are back in this falling wedge and currently we are reaching here the bottom of $90. So we are very close to our bottom here in the DXY where we should expect a big bounce from it. And if the DXY is gonna have a major pump here in the four hour, then I'm targeting here the 200 moving average at around 9250. And therefore we could maybe see a correction in the Bitcoin price incoming, which will lead in my opinion towards $17,000. And now we can go over into the daily time frame in the Bitcoin price because here you can see that currently we are still closing daily candles above the 9 day and also 20 daily moving average. 
So as long as we are closing, let's say daily candles here above 18,220, we should be still on our trend to the upside and we will break 20K pretty soon. Only if we will start to close daily candles below the 20 daily moving average. So if today maybe we have this correction down to $17,000, so very close to the 50 daily moving average down here at around $16,000, then I'm afraid that we could be in a bigger correction potentially towards 15,000 or maybe even towards the 200 the daily moving average at $12,000. This is also where currently gold was bottoming out after the crash that we have seen here in the last couple of days. Gold also is now recovering after testing the 200 daily moving average. And that's why I think if we're gonna have somehow a bigger correction and watch out for the 200 daily moving average at $12,000. I think we will never see prices below this moving average ever again, but of course everything is possible. But since we have now a confirmed bull run, then watch out for this price range here between $17,000 and $12,000 if somehow we're going to have a major crash below $17,000. Because don't forget in the daily we are still very overbought even though the RSI cooled off now a little bit but we had this bearish divergence here when we topped out right here at 19,960 here on the Bitstamp chart. So if we're gonna fall below the 20 daily moving average then watch out for this range here between 16 to 17 thousand dollar even down towards the 200 daily here at $12,000. And if we open up the weekly time frame, you can see that the 20 weekly moving average is right here at $13,000. And that's why my friends, I'm telling you, if we're gonna have a major correction, then try to buy in and start to scale in as many longs as you can down in this region, because that could be really the last opportunity for you to buy some cheap Bitcoin and also have very good long positions. And if we have a look here into the RSI, you can see that here we have in theory a possible local top and we could be in a bigger correction. So in that case, I think it is very likely that we will go to fill this gap at $17,000 and potentially also go lower towards the 20 weekly here at around $13,000. But overall, if you see such a correction, make sure to buy as much as possible because Bitcoin is looking very bullish here for the long term. And if we have a chance to buy some more Bitcoin at a cheaper price than we are seeing right now, so cheaper than 20K, then you should take this ultimate good buy opportunity. Because if we go back into the daily time frame and have a look into the hash ribbons, so let me pull out here the indicator for the hash ribbon. You can see that currently we have a buy signal. So we have a confirmed buy signal here in this indicator. And also in the past, this indicator was always very accurate. It always announced an upcoming uptrend in the Bitcoin price. So every time you would have bought when this signal was flashing by, you would have done very nice profits. And I think the same thing will happen also this time. But of course, it is possible that before we're starting to head higher and also break 20K and have the next parabolic run up, that we might see one last little week or correction to the downside, potentially to those targets down here, like we have discussed in this video, before we are heading to break 20K and move into new levels. So everything is pointing out that Bitcoin is about to go really parabolic to the upside. Make sure that you have already accumulated as much Bitcoins as you want for the next parabolic stage, but also already if we're going to have such a last correction to buy as much as possible and maybe also try to catch a good long position over on Bybit or Femex, especially on Bybit since we're having this contest going on during December and like this you have the chance to win even some of this price pool of 25 Bitcoin and also other prices. So with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos on Bitcoin and also check out all the links that you find down below here if you want to get some free cryptos and also open up an account for example over on Coinbase, Binance or Swissborg. Those are the exchanges that I'm also using and if you use my sign up links down below here you will get some extra bonus money so you can buy even more cryptos and everyone is very welcome to join also my free discord trading chat we have a great crypto family over there so make sure to tune in over there as well and this is also where you can get access to my own indicator if you want to get some good buy and sell signals for bitcoin so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye